Hello there, YouTube. Daedric Diamond here, and welcome to a Let's Play of Stellaris. Stellaris is a space exploration game where you get a star nation, and you have to build that star nation. We're going to go ahead and go right on in. We're also playing with some mods here. And we're going to do a nice casual game. begins the Empire or Doria we're gonna go ahead since this is one of those games where you gotta be aggressive at the beginning taking a look map this looks like this is gonna be my Empire for now we're gonna also make sure that we sign our scientists to research things so technology will come in handy Especially the later technologies. Otherwise, you usually want to be aggressive when you start this game. Go ahead, put the speed at max. Crown Emperor Sweet Berry Diamonds. New hair. Ah, alrighty. Gotta say, I... Well, fine. I like this look. I like this one. It's cute. Remarkable. Go ahead and sign another... ...scientist. Come with alien life forms. Always to be cautious. Go ahead and sign the policies. For now, we're going to want to go ahead and set our... Go ahead and turn off those, because you don't want robot rebellions. And we'll put our initial border status to closed until we have the border secure. And we're going to go ahead and do discovery. Yep, everything's fine. This discovery is useful for the beginning game. Go ahead and move that there. You're gonna go ahead and build a star base there. We're gonna build another construction ship and another science vessel. Whoa, that is weird. The idea here is to expand quickly and rapidly, and you want to get a lot of resources, especially for the later game. When the whole galaxy is populated and then you're gonna find yourself in conflict, possibly. We'll go ahead and go that one, so that way we can get the scanning bonuses. Wow, that's really later. impressive. We'll choose, we'll choose you, since you're the youngest. You go ahead, survey there. You're gonna go that way. It's an improvement, darling. Go ahead and build mining stations so that we can really bring in those resources. Those resources are really going to come in handy later. Yep. We'll go ahead and expand this fine. way too. We'll go up here. Whew. But yeah, it has been a while since I played this game, and I've noticed that the updates Whoa. are that is weird. really changed the way that. Thing, uh, the updates have really changed things. Whoa, I've noticed it in weird. the society management where they used to have everything sort of preset and now you can just select and then choose which one goes where. That's kind of neat, actually. I just don't like how every time I click this X button it doesn't do anything, so I gotta push the escape key. I am also playing on very fast settings too, so things to are gonna move cooler. a little quickly. Fast paced. Swirling shadows. It's an improvement, darling. Now that that's connected, we'll 
build a mining station here. And then we're gonna go ahead. Oof. Yep, everything's fine. One of those. Yep, everything's fine. Consumer goods probably are what you were gonna want for now. Wow, Alloy will be useful really too impressive. for when we're building the military up. Go ahead and advance that. Actually, pause, go there, and you'll go the opposite direction. We want to survey as much of this as possible so that way we can later secure that. Your shrine. Most of the asteroid has been laser chiseled with great precision into the likeness of a small Pegasi temple or a large shrine. A shrine to the untold the street of the old Pegasin face. The temple has been tumbling through quite the space of far longer. Terrifying fat words. Oof. We're gonna gamble. We're Listen gonna begin closely. the old gods. This chain. is important. When situations like that come up, sometimes it's best to take them. It can be quite rewarding it down the road when you, cooler. when you get the quests. I think I can go ahead and make another science ship. I can a colony ship, too. We'll definitely want that. And then with the rest, we'll make two corvettes. Expand our fleet here. It's only consisting of three ships. Recruit another leader. Sweet Pop Caramel Rhythm. We'll go with Caramel, because they're the youngest. And we're going to send them this way. And we have enough influence. Wow, we'll that's here. really impressive. Then we'll go there. Have it all. Ah. Well, we'll finally. So with this situation, the habitable worlds one. Go ahead and track. Make sure that of course works things. That blue laser will come in handy later. Ah! Alright, so we've got first alien contact, so we're gonna go ahead send an envoy. We'll do royal talk. Whoa, that is Definitely weird. research that it's anomaly. Darling. Take that. But yeah, usually the early game will fly by in the sense that you'll just be more focused on expanding yep. and exploring fine. the galaxy. Thing happening so fast that I... <laughs> I can't finish what I'm saying without the game saying something every five seconds. Which is fine. This is Stellaris, so... The beginning part is gonna fly, usually. Go ahead and build mining outposts there. Signs of battle. This mass space battle took place in close orbit of Shiret 5. At some point in the last 5,000 years, the surface on the side of the planet is puckmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from the EMSV Valida Swoon have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains after all the damage... Ah, intriguing. Listen closely, this is important. Judging from what this could be... I'm gonna turn around and research that. With the Gamma Alien ships, our linguists are still none the wiser as to the means, as to the meanings of any of the words they are recording. 
They are optimistic that this new signal will help them make significant progress towards a breakthrough. That's excellent. It gives us insight, which we'll want. Are there any habitable worlds nearby? Yes. There's at least two. We're gonna go take this one. We're gonna call this place... Saint Emmy. For now. It needs to be about 20% cooler. This system's cooler. name is now going to be Saint yep. Emmy. Everything's fine. We're even gonna go Whoa, ahead. that is weird. Colonize this planet, and we'll call this Saint Emmy the first. Oh. There's a dig site, an archaeology site, which is useful for finding minor artifacts, which are these things right here, which you can use to get certain power-ups later down the line. Uh, not on that one. Did they move that? I know it used to be in this section they covered it, but they might have changed that. Yeah. But then there's also the chance that you could get a major artifact, which... Major artifacts are really useful. You'll definitely want those things. Because they could give off certain buffs that are just really nice to have. Look or not. Trace the... Secret subterranean monker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship or researchers. Hmm... Oof. Engineering research for 10 years. Let it continue its mystery calculations. We'll get 200 Don't you influence, use your fancy mathematics to mutter the issue. Which will be useful. Whoa, that is weird. That will allow us to expand even further. It's all mine. Ah, yes. Our first colony. The first other colony besides Whoa, the home world. That is weird. Research that. I always knew I was brilliant. Uh, and we just finished a tradition, which will unlock an ascension perk. And I always choose this one to start, because the more research we got, the faster we can unlock technologies. Keep at it. It's an improvement, darling. Research that. Ooh, definitely that. So that way our Corvette ships can definitely have better armor. Or more hit points, I think is what it said. Yeah, a hundred more hit points, essentially. We'll go ahead and raise our small little fleet by two. And you need to finish yep. surveying. That. Everything's fine. Yep, everything's fine. It needs to be about 20% cooler. I'll go ahead and we're gonna expand this way. And we'll expand this way. These two I will come back for later, since they don't seem to connect to anything. The idea is is I wanna get all the connections wow, that's first. That's really impressive. Hello. Gamma aliens. The ones I'm probably trying to learn the language of, so that way I can talk to them. You can go ahead and go there. Excellent. We just figured out about rare crystals. Which will be used for later ship designs. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Ah. Just put me over there. Wormhole right there. Wormholes will be useful for later. Because then they could allow for quick travel throughout the galaxy. Like, let's say... If I needed to get somewhere fast, I could just take the wormhole, which could just send me over... Let's say somewhere over here. 
instead of needing to manually go all the way, which can take forever. Hello. Yep, everything's fine. <sighs> Lovington. Ah, and they just claimed this sector, too. Alright. So it looks like I've got northern neighbors. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here before they close the border and send the ship back. Whoa, that is weird. So it looks like for the moment I'll be expanding southward. We'll go ahead and open this, and we'll take... Oof. Hello, that's new. We'll learn harmony. And that will give the ability of mind and body, which will boost our later lives by 20 years. It's an improvement, darling. Whoa, that is weird. Keep searching. I was brilliant. But yeah, this game, like I said in the beginning, will definitely fly. I mean, I've already pretty much got this small little domain here. It it's gonna be, to be about 20%. when I learn about my neighbors. Is where the interesting part comes in. Hello, they're Earth ponies. So we have Earth ponies to the north. Go ahead and send you there for now. For them. For me. Ah, for yes. Westria. Saint Emmy is ready to start building things. So we're gonna have Saint Emmy make straight of office, and then we're gonna make an alloy foundry, so that way I can get more alloy, which will be useful for ships, military ships. Ah, blue lasers. That'll definitely come in handy, because that's going to upgrade my fleet's weaponry. And I'm going to need as much firepower as I can bear later on. Drift. Intriguing. Listen closely. This is important. Ah, uh, alright. I need a construction ship. I guess you got the job. I'm gonna go get that, because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a free ship. <sighs> At least hoping before I end the video I can learn who they are. I wonder Let's if I'm move, close. Because so I think I'm going to end the video as soon as I learn who my northern neighbor is. I can at least deduce that they're wow, Earth Ponies. that's really impressive. Aha! Communications established. Will you accept my friendship? Ooh, alright. The Holy Earth Pony Sovereignty of Lovington. They are a fanatic, a xenophile, and a spiritualist. I think I'm also a spiritualist, indicated here, so we share the same divine heritage, Earth Ponies, which means we're going to be coming in peace with them. At least until they Don't do that. You use your fancy mathematics to muddy the issue. Shut the border down, that is. Ooh. Tear down and study the engines so that way we can get a faster ship. Yeah, that's going to definitely be useful. Oh yeah, enhanced ship speed, so my ships are going to move a little faster. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hopefully on the next episode of Stellaris, we... Well, we're going to probably more than likely be expanding a little more and meeting other neighbors. Maybe even might get to have a tad bit of action with some random... Some random... Aliens, maybe... Maybe those droid bot ships? I can't remember what they're called from the top of my head. But I know they're, they're essentially robot ships. 
But yeah, if you like the video, please do consider subscribing. Like and subscribe. Thank you.